What was the worst thing that happened to you when you first started GMing? Be me, new GM. Be not me, human fighter, dwarf barbarian, human paladin, scarecrow warlock. We had a group that run their games in the same homebrew setting, with like 30 players and 3 to 4 GMs. GM'd before but still fairly new, and not for this group. My quest is that we are teleported into the city that is under siege by orcs, to try and rescue some guy. Have no intentions of helping the city because it's pointless. Half the party just makes the preparations for the operation, while the other half are just chilling. Warlock and Paladin both get a brilliant idea to go out of the city into the forest infested by orcs alone. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Warlock gets nearly killed by the patrol of druids that just summoned like 30 wolves on his ass. <laughs> Paladin declares that he wants to challenge the chieftain, get him to duel 1v1. <laughs> Paladin refuses to heal himself with lay on hands because it's not how it works in WoW. Oh no. <laughs> Fucking dies. His body later discovered by the party. My face when I nearly killed half the party in my first game. My face when I get the reputation of being ruthless GM. Uh, what, I, what, how do you get the reputation from it's that? It's not you, it was completely the players. You, you just let them go off and <laughs> you're like, like you know, right, okay. It'd be one of those ones. If you didn't let them go off, you'd be oh he's you'd trying to oh he's DM. too he's too controlling, he's good and all this. Um yeah, honestly, like <laughs> How is that your fault? I, I, that that's they're all idiots. You no, know, you know what it was? The paladin thought he was gonna be able to fucking bubble Hearthstone, put their yes. own hands on. He was thinking pure World of Warcraft. Pure World of Warcraft. Thinking, like, no, this is not how it works. Like World of Warcraft's different, right? <laughs> some of the names may be somewhere, but it's not the same yes. system, right guys? It just isn't. I also think that sounds like a cult gamma. So for a game I like that idea. Yeah, I like it. Like, you know, going on in, like, like okay, we need to get the guy out, you know, going yeah. on on the cover. I think, I think it makes for a cool set piece. First time GMing, wanted to fix up the system the way I wanted it to be. Balanced, but a bit more powerful so I can have big numbers and roll a lot of dice. Old DM who became a player, steps on my toes for literally every decision I make that isn't leave the system alone, just play raw. <sighs> why? Did, <laughs> why? Actually DMing, but you know, I, I feel like it's one of those ones like you know it's, it's, it's hard to give up that control that you have if you are like a forever DM yeah but you're a player so sit I back. know just fucking enjoy yourself just go with it yeah later on recommends to me that I should use three house rules instead then says I'm stealing their house rules <laughs> <laughs> every map I make is criticised and he rules lawyers the monsters I throw at the party Asks for stats and then proceeds to look up the monsters. What the oh, fuck? No. Ended up bullying another player out of the game because his character wasn't broken. I check out at this point and let the rest of the party, who is worshipping the old DM at this point, run rampant. Give them a generic lich boss and let them have their victory. Never talk to those people again. This is the gist of it. It's a lot worse, but these are the main points. Well, look, if they were at least enjoying... You're out of it. At least you're out of it. They were enjoying that other guy... Let them play with him, you know. We bit shitty. That was your first time GM experience, and then yeah. another DM fucking tried to. I like roll you know, for you. me personally. I'll tell this story at the end. I was quite lucky my first GM experience, where at least I already knew the people. Yeah. But I still made a hack of it. But yeah. I'll, I'll tell that story at the end. Yeah. It was a complete sh shit show. Yeah. Well, it wasn't that bad. It was just I was bad. Yeah. And I was really I was there. bad. <laughs> yeah. You were there. Had a fucked up experience as a player for a first GM. Party composition largely important, save for me playing specifically heavyweight Cajun Gator, Gator folk. folk. I okay. imagine he's. <laughs> I imagine, okay. uh, you know, Duck Hunt. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, like people from that show. Oh, it makes me think of the the alligator from Princess and the Frog. Oh, yeah. He plays the trumpet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. GM hooks us a quest to find some missionaries that vanished on a pilgrimage. We go down the road they were supposed to be on looking for clues. Find a broken wagon, shredded horses, body of a few guards, but it doesn't look like the work of bandits, as there's still valuables around. Tracker leads us to Foothills, ominous cave. Search inside and find the missing priest huddled around some candles in a side room. Untie them and start heading out. Sudden lightning rips through the party. Chaos ensues. Find out we're under attack by Behir, which is absolutely butchering the casters. Two teammates downed, we decide that this is beyond fucked. Staying gripped up is letting it hit more of us, so it's every man for themselves. Get bit and grabbed by the beaver. Party takes this opportunity to get the fuck out. 
GM declares that my character is swallowed whole and that the beehive disintegrates and retreats deeper into the cave. Party is basically fucked. Out of character agree no hard feelings and I get ready to write up a new character. GM narrates that the party returns to town and that they prepare for a memorial service. Then GM starts talking about what happened to my character. Starts asking for roles to struggle. Talking about how the beaver uses its many hands to rub itself. What? Feeling me outside. No. Oh no. This no. Is, this, is a a this is a vor fetish. Goes into talking about the digestion and how satisfied <laughs> the beaver was. By this point, we're all bailing out of the call. <laughs> GM starts sending DMs in Discord telling me that the beaver's digestive system is so efficient that it's able to store me as fat without any waste. Ask him what the what his problem is, and he tells me that he thought I was a furry, so he wanted to have a special game with me and explore a fetish. He thought we'd hit it off over. <laughs> keep your forty, your keep keep like, it to yourself. Like, 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 okay, I will give it to this DM. He was trying. He really did, and he, he he thought he thought that you know what he was doing would really hit it off, and it would be like, oh yeah, no, these guys are going to love it. Everybody else was like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, um, you, you just knew the second it started talking about the digestion thing. That, that's I said, a, oh that, no, that's a poor fetish. That, that's a poor fetish. I've seen it, you know. Fifteen years ago, friend shows interest in doing a D and D three point five adventure. Decide to write my first game, a homebrew involving an invasion from the far realm. Creates map, NPCs, grand plot, all from scratch. Feels good, man. Fuck, I haven't said that in ages. Yeah, feels good. Feels yeah. good, man. Party of five starts at the tavern. Gets wind of a problem at the local druid's grove. Need to solve a riddle to find the druid dead in a secret chamber. And rules lead them to trees placed at the room's walls. Party druid casts speak to plants. Cool, she's got the hang of it. Starts, oh, starts rubbing herself against the tree in an attempt to seduce it. I, it, oh, I, just, I, I just imagine. You, do you remember that woman that married the, the Eiffel Tower and starts rubbing <laughs> yes. herself against it? That's just what I've got in my mind. I awkwardly, I awkwardly laugh in hopes of moving on. Druid starts describing how she's using the branches as dildos, <laughs> inserting the tree into herself while the rest of the party watches. The other players fucking love it and <laughs> cheer her on, <laughs> both in and out of character, as she describes how she gratifies herself with the tree. I tell her that's not cool and that I don't want childish porn fantasies in my game. Other players boo me and just start describing how they sexually abuse plants <laughs> and characters from the tavern they previously talked to. <sighs> I, you know, I t- I, to be fair, I, I, you know, from the way this sounds, I think this sounds like they're just fucking about yeah. and they're not, like, nothing, they're they're, not this, 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 this isn't like a serious, like, someone's wanking under the table, I this know. is just, they just want to have a fuck yeah. about. I tell them all to fuck off and leave. Party calls me a sarpus. Didn't play tabletop role playing games again until one year ago. Oh, that's, that's oh, feel I feel so bad. He spent so much time yeah. creating this homebrew, <laughs> and these are like hump trees. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, you know, it sounds like these people had never really played before, and they just wanted to have a bit of fun. fun. They just wanted to fuck about. They weren't going to take it Literally seriously. Literally, fuck about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, I don't feel like there was anything malicious involved here. It was just they want to play a game that's very different from what he wanted to play uh-huh. you know so it's a shame I put, I put him off for so long though yeah you know hey guys do you like models in your tabletop role playing games cause we do too do you like having big bitty waifus on your table cause we do too <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties we got lizard bitties we got orc bitties oni bitties cat bussies we've got everything you want at (laughs) neckbeardia.co.uk check the links down below it helps us out a lot sorry for interrupting the video let's get on the story be me new gm fifth edition because of course runs for friends a single one shot it goes well second not so much cleric dwarf rogue human cleric dry and barbarian human get teleported in a tavern in retrospective I know it was over pretentious for what was basically my first game, but hey, I learned my lesson. A magical tavern outside of time and space. Although characters will find this out a little bit later. Shit, that sounds bad. Anyway, bar maiden and at the same time tavern keeper pours them some drinks. You look in the mugs and you see your favourite drink. Be it some mushroom wine from the depths of Underdark, most expensive water deep champagne or just some strong beer with a huge head. Anything your character considers his favourite. Dwarf goes quiet. What is it, big guy? Did I put some wrong ingredients in there? Where did you find the milk of the dwarven cow? What in the goddamn... 
Well, we um, trans- transported it from Dwarven City. Impossible! It spoils in four hours. Rules for insight to check if he's lying. Although I didn't say to him about the rule. Succeeds. Something's wrong with this place. Spit the fuck out what you want or I'm leaving. Meanwhile, his retarded friend Rogue just spills the fucking beer on the floor because it respawns back in his mug the moment he blinks. He does that seven times in a row. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> to be fair, I can't blame a dwarf for being like that. Yeah. It's kind of in their nature <clears throat> uh-huh. to be confrontational. Yeah. Barbarian and Dry are quiet because anything they're trying to say is always interrupted by these two. This lasts for an hour. Tavern Keeper decides that she's had enough of this shit. Creates a simulation of a quest. They get transported to the gloomy alley in some major city. Halfling approaches them and tries to give them a quest about saving his daughter from orcs nearby. Simple as that, right? Right? <laughs> they, everyone except the barbarian, try to attack the halfling. <laughs> Fuck. Rogue crit feels, punches his friend instead. A brawl begins. These three guys are rolling to ta- each other. Fuck. Why? Barbarian barely manages to calm them down by saying that it's all a simulation and that this alleyway has the same vibes as the tavern and also accepts the quest and actually persuades quest giver to give them more money. Fucking MVP right there. We go to the orc base. Barb says that he's had enough of this shit show and leaves the channel. I say the same and leave. (laughs) All of this lasted for two and a half hours and if I'd go into detail this text would have been 30% longer. Never again. I might have said, but decided to make a new, normaler campaign with the same people and a bit more, except for Barbarian. His love for fantasy shut down a month or so after this failure and he started playing IRL campaigns. Some of them boys eventually left, but Dry Cleric, now being the Barbarian, is still there and we're all having a good time. I'm happy it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy it worked out. I- it was, I think it was a wee bit big. For your first time, GM. yeah, I, f- I feel like that wasn't that whole, like, um, the whole moving them about the place, you know, making it feel like it's all like a weird simulation or it's like outside a dream. of time and space. Yeah, and stuff like that. I, f- I think it was a wee bit. Um, I get, I, I get what he's trying to go yeah. for, but I feel like maybe try something easier. I, I feel like dwarves, by their very nature, are very not very trusting creatures yeah. and very confrontational. They don't trust it. They and, hardly trust dwarves. And the um, the <laughs> idea of someone having witchcraft over their favorite drink, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I I really can't blame him for yeah. getting on like that. Yeah. I, fe- I I hate to say it, it's like it feels like that's what his character would do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate saying that, but I actually kind of do feel that to a certain extent. What do you guys think? What how do you, how do you guys? feel about this one I yeah. don't know it's very mm. dad plays D&D with his friends so I end up friends with his friends kids fuck it's a handful they invite us to their new campaign and they will start in several months starting at like level 3 they decide to play our characters up to level 3 then they fall into a portal or something start campaign I am DM and I will have to introduce my character as a DM player character PCs get caught in rainstorm with their water elementals hurdling the first adventure. Find unconscious dwarf, my character, in Rainstorm. One guy says, okay, I'm gonna go over there, rape him, and then come back. <laughs> we, okay. <laughs> we were just teenagers. Are, are you not playing with like, your dad and uh, stuff and your uncle and all that? We were just teenagers, but still, what the fuck? This was 12 years ago and I'm still playing that character. He's level 27 now. Fuck, you're still playing him? No, not bad. The rape guy left the group, but the rest of us still play. I'm not the DM anymore, obviously. <laughs> I, I, don't th- I don't think I could do that in front of... I don't think it was, no. I think the parents played them up to level three. Mm. The characters up to level three, and then they took over. I'm not sure. I don't... I don't know. I'm like, it's... Oof. Either way, um, that's very bold, are you? Very <laughs> bold. Very bold. Be me new GM trying to start with Pathfinder 1st Edition. The group consists of Dwarf Barbarian, Human Paladin, Human Cleric, Female Character played by a dude, Human Monk, Tiefling Wizard, later they were joined by the Elven Wizard, female as well, player as a guy, and a Halfling Bard. My first try at GMing, want to please every player with my style. When Elven Wizard comes to the party she explains that she has a split personality disorder. The player is a terrible anime trope enjoyer, for sure, but I thought he may have some good ideas. Instantly cringe with all my being, but allow it. Kill the blacksmith for calling her girl and telling her to search for a staff at some magic store. Doesn't use magic. 
while fighting the main villain boss. Instead, she uses her stick. It breaks. <laughs> Whines that she's useless when she has fucking fireballs and magic missiles. Doesn't want to interact with the NPCs and speaks with random anime-like phrases once in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> hmm, that sure is interesting. I wonder why. <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> Drops out because of an inner conflict with another, another player. The face when I had to make up a whole plot arc to explain this character's psychic problems and give her a proper conclusion. Somehow everyone got satisfied and overlooked this. We all had fun after. No, that's good. You know, I, good. I feel like... You know, a lot of these stories so far, and Lily hasn't been the GM. Like, you know, sometimes I think I feel like you know it does take a bit of time to gain that confidence and yeah. be like, "Yo, sit the fuck down, come on, come." On. Like, you know, yeah. and people do. It, it is difficult to yeah. explain that to people. You know, be me, DMing D and D Fifth Edition for the first time. Have only played a few sessions before. Couldn't find anybody who would accept a newbie player. Apparently a newbie DM is fine. <laughs> That's because they're... Yeah. As saying, but nobody you, wants to DM. You, you, need, you need a DM. You, you can't... Oh. Ask everybody what day they want to play. Friday or Saturday. Everyone says Friday. Ping everyone. It was an online game. Say we're having it on Friday. One guy doesn't answer. Hope he saw it and just chose not to answer instead of him ignoring it. The day the game arrives. He is completely radio silent until the end of the day. Bro, what the fuck? We had to cancel the session. You weren't there. You said either Friday or Saturday. I chose Saturday. <laughs> I explained how he should have fucking told me that. Yeah, well, fuck you. My friend Luke always waits for me when I'm late. I don't have to put up with this shit. Leaves game. Campaign falls apart. The end. How did oh. it fall apart? Because of one guy. Just like, Clay. For, like, you'll see if it was the first session and all that. And if he's not showing up in the first session, it's like, right, we're just going to play. Yeah. Because if he can't show up for the, for the at least the first session and he's not he's even not writing there. about it. Yeah. He, he, like, he's kind of just, oh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll sign up for that. And then nothing. Yeah. Like, he, he, he's not interested. Yeah. Like, you know, let the last years enjoy. Let him go. It. Yeah. Just, just cut your losses. It's cool. My first and so far only time as GM went as follows. Get the idea from TG that I should run an intro campaign with all my players playing children. Everyone is a level zero child with a family background we one on one role played in a previous session. Local baron in a small village tells the village kids there will be a local melee tourney but to compete they will each need to acquire a suitable set of armour. Thought this would be a suitably light hearted child campaign task for them to compete and work together. The two girls try and murder and rob a local man at arms to steal his armour. <laughs> when the village child bully, who I had intended to join and help the PCs after some verbal jousting, calls one of the PCs a poof and makes <laughs> and makes fun of him for being poor. The PC Mate, literally everyone's poor and fucking <laughs> this village, I'm pretty sure. The PC literally tries to kill him and the village blacksmith has to stop him from busting his brains out after a fist fight. Only one PC tries to do a suitable task for the local blacksmith to borrow some armour. Eventually all PCs decide to break into the local burial grounds to grave rob. <laughs> uh, I, prepare, <laughs> I prepare for this as a teaser to reveal the upcoming adult campaign that the local witches had cursed the burial mound to raise the dead and attack the village. Half the PCs ignore all my warnings of spooky things happening. They are all almost completely unarmoured and unprepared to fight. And once charges right, <laughs> once charges right into a scary green glowy hole, and the zombies attack her, and I have to feed the black and have the local villagers come in and rescue her. End the game there because one of my players tries to become a warlock mid fight <laughs> by calling on a demon for help, and accuses me of not understanding the rules when I say the blacksmith grapples him and pulls him away. <laughs> I probably will never try to GM again. <laughs> Honestly, I, I think it I, sounds really fun. I, I, I actually really like that idea. It sounds really fun. It sounds like a really <laughs> fun game. I, it's it's a good it's a good example of my cement. Yeah, I think that's. I, I I think I would actually enjoy playing something like this. Yeah, it sounds you know, really fun. Um, no, I think that sounds really cool. That sounds really cool. Yeah, but like, <laughs> but that turned into shit. <laughs> yeah, that uh, <laughs> that didn't end well for anyone. <laughs> it's a shame because it actually does sound yeah. cool. Yeah, but like, okay, so I think I'll tell you my first time. Well, it wasn't my first time DMing, but. Near enough was my first time DMing. Um, this happened what maybe about four years ago, yeah. maybe yeah, probably. about four years ago. So um, I played with people at this 
local game store, but the local game store had shut down uh-huh. and stuff, and it moved away, and it was too far away, and it was in the back of a bar, and they didn't weren't really doing it anymore. It was only forty k, yeah. So I had nowhere to play. So I decided, you know what? I'm talking to Megan about it. Megan's interested in the whole idea of it, but she's never played. We wrangle um, two of her friends, two of her friends, and this other fella. Yeah. Um, Okay, where do you, where do you want to start? So, um, Megan, what are you playing again? You're playing something from a rogue. We've got another. We've got um, yeah. thingy playing as a ranger. We've got Charlie playing as a, as a barbarian, and then we've got Lewis, Lewis who's as playing a paladin. as a paladin. Okay, called so, Sir Ripsalop. No, he was. He wasn't called Sir. Sir loves. Sir loves his traps. Sir loves his traps. Yeah. So yeah. It, that was his actual character's name. Yeah. Sir loves his traps. Um. It got really bad. I, I feel like I, it's been that First long. First session, I just remember we had a goblin pet. Yeah, yeah, no, it wasn't that one. Did, no, it wasn't. No, that oh, was did, our first session. Did you t- did you take the goblin in? Yeah, because we meant to go into a cave. It was just like a dungeon crawl thing. Yeah. And there was a goblin outside, and we ended up baiting like all the other goblins and stole one goblin. You were because you were we needed to, to pay find. Him. Yeah, you. Oh, we yeah. We needed to find the location. Yeah. Of somewhere, so he wouldn't give us our location, but he knew where his boss was, so he could give us a location. Yeah. So we put a rope around him, and he was our pet, <laughs> and we just dragged him along. <laughs> Thankfully, Lewis didn't molest any of them, like you yeah. know, which was good. But it like it just fell apart, so it did. I. I f- it's been that long since it happened. I can't remember the all ins and outs, but I was just making a hack of it. I, you know what it was? I felt like I really wanted to try and please people more than run the game. Yeah. Does that make sense? And that's where I failed miserably. Yeah. It was a really bad... Like, it was I, really like, bad I, first experience, it was, but like, it was okay. It wasn't the worst. It was yeah. just... Um, I just did a bad job, yeah. I feel. But look, you know that's okay because I already know. Like, I'm not a great DM. Um, I enjoy. You're not being... the world's best player. But... <laughs> I'm not a great. player. Like, we're not great player, players either. But uh, I really did try, and I feel like now maybe I could go back and maybe because we know. Uh, a lot I, I feel. More. I feel like I'm a bit more prepared yeah. at this point. Yeah. To try to be a DM, but the problem is I don't have the time to lay aside to yeah. prep sessions. I don't have. Get the- brain power the physical demanding brain power to be a GM no. to deal with <laughs> so many sparks I can't yeah. um, no I feel like I, f- I feel like now I could play give it a fire attempt but again I don't have the time that I did have back then yes. to really get, give it a fire attempt and really go at it which is a bit of a shame maybe someday I'll yeah. give it a go but uh, until then until then have any of you guys done it have any of you guys you know it's like you know what right, I'll have a go I'll try and be the DM and it just falls apart. Yeah. But then again, also like you know, the people we were playing with don't really have any interest in no. role playing games. Yeah. It was more just something fun to, to do. do. Um, it was just a shit show. I've been with you guys, show. and no one really. What about you guys? Yeah. Like GM, and have you ever GM'd and you had like a complete shit show happen? Yeah. Let us know if you did. I end up having to put in because Lewis wouldn't shut up. But it's like, right, okay, fine, we'll put in a trap bar me, but I can't tell you it's a trap. Uh-huh. Right, you have to find, you, you out, have to find out yourself, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not fucking doing this for. I'm not like feet to black, feet to black. Yeah, you go off upstairs, have your fun. <laughs> you know, it was like, me, don't do this to I me. Know. I'm not fucking. I know. Oh, and I, I was, I was a lot more naive. I would say, yeah. But look, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys have any own stories, definitely let us know down below. below. If we get enough of them, we'll yeah. do our own story. Check out the links, check out the models, the subclasses, the t-shirts, all that good shit. Hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!